Hi, you must be Madison. I'm Stefan Aguier. Green Hammer, nice to meet you. Uh, we are at Tilmuk Row, a net zero habitat. You wanna come check it out? Awesome. This is uh, a rain cistern. So it's a 1200 gallon uh, rain cistern. So we get water that comes off of the roofs. And we have all metal roofs here if you look around. Except right in these little flat roof sections we have um, plants growing. We have like earthen roofs. There's a little membrane underneath and it captures all the rainwater off of the metal roofs and it cleans it with the earth and the rocks. And then it goes into these big cisterns and we use that for gardening. Yeah, so we have three of those on site. Those rain cisterns were really cool. You might be able to see some interesting things on the roofs. Do you know what those are? Solar panels? That's exactly right. Yeah, those are solar panels. Solar panels grab the sunshine and hold it tight. And so uh, the reason we call us a net zero energy community is that we've made these buildings be so energy efficient. They use such little amount of energy that we can provide all the energy that they need with just those solar panels on the roof. If this were a regular community built to standard building code, it would take us, we'd have to cover this entire site in solar panels to make enough energy to be zero, net zero energy. Those solar panels made energy for the place. So with net zero energy, we have to produce as much renewable energy as we consume in a year, right? But we're still tied to the big energy grid. So you see those electrical cables that are outside along the street? Yeah. All these buildings are tied to those, okay? And in the winter, we need energy from that electrical grid because there's not a lot of sun, or at night, right? But during the day, even a day like today where it's kind of gray out, we are producing um, energy with those solar panels. And so in the summer, we produce a lot of energy and that energy goes straight to the grid. And in, at night and in the winter, we pull energy from the grid. And what we're trying to do is produce as much energy in a year as we've consumed. So we're sending energy out to everybody else and then we pull energy from the power grid. And if we produce as much renewable energy as we consume in a year, then they say we're net zero energy. You wanna go in and check out one of the buildings? All right, cool. So keep in mind that this building is about 20 times tighter than a standard home, right? And so that means that this building loses all the air inside of it once a day through natural leakage. And a standard home, we're gonna leak out all of the air at least 12 times a day. That's in a brand new code-built home, which is pretty tight. All the, most of the homes are really old. Sometimes they're leaking 20 or 30 times all their volume in one day. Yep, so they all have these tilt turn windows. And most of the windows at this community face south. Not all of them, but a lot of the windows face south. And you'll notice something different about the windows that face south. You notice something at the top of those windows? What do you see? Those metal things? Yeah, those metal things. Yeah, right? That's exactly right. They look like a ladder that's just kind of like hanging there. Like, what is that? You know, why would we have architects hang those ladders over the windows? Well, what those do is the cool thing about the sun, when it, so it's going to rise in the east, and set over here to the west. In the winter, it has a very low angle that it rises and sets, so it's very low in the south, okay? And when it's low like that, the sun rays can go through those windows and into the homes, which keeps them nice and warm in the winter, right? So it's a passive he heating method. In the summer, though, we don't want any of that sun in our windows, right? Because it's already hot. Yeah. So. In the summer, the sun is really high on this axis, okay? It has a lot, everything to do with how uh, the Earth essentially is moving around the sun, but to keep it simple, the sun is really high in the summer, and those shades block out the sun. Because the sun comes up early in the morning, it would just come straight in through the windows. So we have these sliding, yeah, pretty cool, these sliding shades that block out all that extra sun, right? But still 
Yeah, we can still get, if we want to, we can leave the window tilted, we still get nice airflow, right? And if we still want to be able to peek out, we can see a little bit, but we're blocking most of the sun this way. Make sense? So that's how we block out the extra hot summer sun. So not only do we have these shades, we also have this thin layer of meta metallic coating called a low emissivity coating. And that reflects all of that uh, excess solar heat back out. There's also a thin layer on the inside that reflects our heat back in. So that helps work in our advantage in the winter. They have metal inside the glass to keep the sun out. And when we put people together like this, it actually helps us because we can share all of these um, amenities. And uh, in doing that, we actually use less energy, which is really pretty cool. So in the future, we hope to see carbon dioxide um, heat pumps that have a combination propane heat pump with them. So they could do cooling with the propane and heating with the carbon dioxide. For right now, we're just using these carbon dioxide heat pumps to do our hot water. But the two biggest loads in the building is your heating and cooling and your hot water. So we've just made those super tiny, like the size of your boots, right? Relative to the size of you. And so that's how we really make these buildings really low energy, enough so that we can be net zero or hopefully net positive. Pretty cool, huh? Hey Madison, thank you so much for coming. I hope you got to see everything you wished to see here. It was really exciting walking around and answering your questions. Awesome! Zero energy makes me happy. What about you?